From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Thursday's top story is a high-profile COVID-19 case for health officials to monitor. Former Prime Minister Ingram has it. He's in doctor's hospital recovering. According to his doctors, he's expected to make a full recovery. The former Prime Minister among 19 confirmed cases reported by health officials for Tuesday 13 men and 6 women. 16 persons remain in hospital being treated, one in the ICU. Officials continue to monitor the numbers as they wait for the vaccine to arrive. Expected by the end of the week, according to Health Minister Wells, the rollout could start as early as next week. The mid-year budget numbers laid out in the House yesterday. Finance Minister, Prime Minister Minnis putting the numbers on the table, telling members, among other things, that revenue collection is down. This is largely driven by reductions in VAT collections of $228.9 million to $286.4 million, lower intake from the international trade taxes by $128.7 million to $103.2 million, and excise tax reductions of $43.6 million to $80. million. House members are now looking over the mid-year numbers. Also in the House, the Prime Minister told members that he would call an early election if it was up to him alone, but says the decision would have to be made by his team. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Public Services Minister Roll tabled the results of a forensic audit on the National Insurance Board in the House yesterday. He says it found that there was just over a million dollars in what he called inappropriate payments made in connection with a $10 million loan by NIB to the Ministry of Housing. That's during the Christie administration. No confirmation yet that Lanisha Roll will not be renominated by the FNM, but there's a report this morning that Lisa Bostwick Dean, who's a senator now, is the front runner for the party Seabreeze constituency nomination. The man shot and killed by police this week identified as Rashad LaRota, and his sister's telling the Tribune she doesn't believe the police version of that shooting. She says she believes they killed him for nothing. The coroner is investigating. Police say they're now questioning a woman in connection with the stabbing death of another woman over the weekend here in the capital. Her name's still not released. Gas prices going up. Shell jumping another 15 cents on the gallon price, up to 4.52 now. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune 242. Dot com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a surface of insurance management, no systems in the area, mostly sunny, highs from the low to mid-80s, 80 at Freeport, 84 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds 5 to 10 knots, the seas 1 to 3 feet, high tide now, the next low around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let's get the weekend started. The weekend, published every Friday in the Tribune, has the hottest news in fashion, music tips, the who's who on the red carpet, your must-try restaurants and hotspots, and of course, what to wear when you step out. Catch up on the latest film reviews or be thrilled with exciting tales from Bahamian history. There's only one place to find everything you need to plan your perfect weekend in Friday's Tribune. Pick up your copy of the weekend every Friday. The Tribune, the people's paper. Biggest and best. Thursday's World News headlines. Another COVID-19 vaccine could get approved for use as early as tomorrow. The one-dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine is safe and effective according to the American CDC. The other vaccines on the market cutting into the virus. Now world totals are dropping dramatically. The U.S. numbers, the lowest they've been in some time, and health officials say the Johnson vaccine will help even more. Tensions continue to rise in Myanmar, where the standoff continues over the recent military coup there. There are reports of increasing clashes between protesters and security forces, but neither side is giving ground at this point. China is celebrating what is being called an end to extreme poverty in that country. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Thursday shall now at 4.52, SO 4.39, Rubus 4.39 per gallon in the capital. 
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. The Phoenix run in the NBA came to an end last night in Charlotte. The Hornets beat DeAndre Ayton on the Suns. Ayton had 16 and 10. Get the latest NBA updates in the Tribune Sports. More details of the Tiger Woods situation. Questions now about whether he can actually make a comeback from this. Iram Lewis is the new Minister of Sports. Find out what he is saying. And there's an update on Kai Jones in the Tribune Sports Thursday. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in there. That's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.